It seems that in the future, mobile phone manufacturers wanting to make phones thinner will have to develop the next generation of Type-C interfaces. Oh hey, what do you all think about Apple's lightning connector? Cook says we still have unused lightning cables lying around. Cook says, if you're coming to work now, why haven't you arrived yet? After waiting for a long time, Xiaomi's big folding screen flagship model, the Mix Fold 4, is finally here. Let quickly unbox it and take a look at the actual device. Black all-in-one packaging, like a red logo, standard packaging for Xiaomi flagships. Removing the outer box, here's our star of the show. If you're using a folding screen for the first time, it's recommended to carefully read the instructions. Take good care of the folding screen, and it'll stay with you for a longer time. Let's look at the full package. A 67W charger with USB-A port supporting Xiaomi's proprietary protocol. And an exclusive data cable with ED protective casing. Let's quickly apply the corner screen protectors and see how it looks. The interior uses a screen protector without camera cutouts featuring low reflectivity. After unfolding, the corners of the frame feel quite rounded and it feels remarkably light in hand. Flipping it over to look at the exterior, the design is quite unique. The camera module has an irregular, almost wedge-like shape, which combined with the slightly rounded appearance, gives it a more organized look. The texture appears different under various lighting conditions. It's worth noting that Xiaomi is still the only manufacturer offering a folding phone with a full-range quad camera setup which really maximizes the potential in terms of focal lengths. The phone's back panel is made of ultra-high-strength glass fiber material, which feels quite solid to the touch. The outer screen section has a periscope lens group, so the camera module protrudes quite a bit. There's a Leica logo at the top and a Xiaomi logo at the bottom. Of course, the entire camera module is designed to be slightly off-center, so it doesn't feel awkward when holding the phone with one hand. The other side of the outer screen adopts a design with four micro-curved edges, and even the corners are noticeably curved, giving the phone a very rounded appearance overall. And after folding, the feel is also quite good. If we compare the appearance with the previous generation Max Fold 3, we can say that the difference is quite noticeable. The corners of the Max Fold 3 were noticeably smaller and stiffer, while this new Max Fold 4 is clearly more rounded and feels better in hand. Next, let's look at the folded screen. We can see that the bezels have been given a very rounded treatment. After folding, the whole device fits together seamlessly. Let's use a light to check for any light leakage. Looking from the side, this device is incredibly thin. One side is just about as thick as a Type-C port. In fact, if you look closely, it's almost a bit thinner than a Type-C port. The data cable interface at the end extends to the side of the body, which is really quite impressive. It seems that if phone manufacturers want to make phones even thinner in the future, they'll need to develop the next generation of Type-C ports. Hey, what do you all think about Apple's lightning connector? Fork chimes in, saying we still have an unused lightning cable lying around. Cook says he's heading to work now. Xiaomi's latest large foldable screen flagship. Whether folded or unfolded, it's indeed impressively thin. Let's take a look at the weight next. The actual weight is 232 grams. It's the lightest among the large foldable screen models we've recently received compared to their own previous generation, the Max Fold 3. It's even more than 30 grams lighter. I can only say that Xiaomi has really accomplished something this year. A weight of 232 grams. It's actually lighter than the iPhone 15 Pro Max, the straight screen flagship from the competition. A foldable screen that's lighter than a straight screen. This day has finally come. Of course, besides the weight, we also need to look at the thickness. This Xiaomi device is indeed quite thin, but as I mentioned earlier, the camera bump is quite pronounced, so the camera protrusion is also relatively significant, comparing it horizontally with various flagship models. We can see the differences in their respective dimensions. Next, let's quickly turn on the screen and enter the system. The outer screen has a pretty high screen-to-body ratio and the corner radius is consistent all around. The four-dimensional curved surface indeed provides an outstanding visual effect. Then we unfold it to look at the inside. After unfolding, the dynamic wallpaper looks quite beautiful. Both inner and outer screens have the standard two-speed refresh rate. I won't go into too much detail here. After folding, we might worry whether it can stay at multiple angles given how thin it is, you can feel it for yourself. It seems that Xiaomi's new self-developed Hinge 2.0 is not only thin enough, but also meets flagship standards in other aspects. Upon unboxing, it's a perfect 100 points here, let's give it a score. 
This time, Xiaomi M4 has indeed put a lot of effort into making it thin and light. So what's the trade-off? Generally, making the body thin and light usually requires some compromises in the camera department, for example, using smaller sensors, for instance, removing the periscope lens group. These components aren't light, but this time, Xiaomi M4 hasn't cut corners in the imaging department. In fact, there are even some improvements first. Let's look at the hardware configuration. The rear quad camera setup covers the full focal range. It spans from 15mm wide angle to 115mm telephoto covering 5 focal lengths for shooting. The 50 megapixel main camera is equipped with the Light Hunter 800 sensor it has an F1.7 large aperture Leica Summerlex lens with an equivalent focal length of 23mm. Additionally, they've innovatively introduced a 50 megapixel dual floating lens with an equivalent focal length of 47mm. It has an F2.0 aperture. It can zoom up to 4x through focal length extension. It also supports depth of field blending in suitable scenes too. Depth of field options will automatically appear when framing. You can shoot portraits with prominent subjects according to your requirements. The lens in the upper right is the 115mm equivalent focal length 10 megapixel periscope telephoto lens. Only this is the 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens with a 15mm equivalent focal length. This focal length combination is completely sufficient even for straight screen flagship models. Next, let's look at the performance of a few sample shots. visual comparison with the major mainstream flagship folding phones on the market. We'll take a quick look and see which one you prefer.